How's it going, everybody? Um, welcome back to my C++ programming walkthrough. Today we are looking at um, a deck of cards program that I had um, written um, when I first started to program. Um, so before we um, get um, too far into this, we're going to take a look at the card object, the, actually the card class. Um, if you don't know what the pound, um, if not defined, define um, statements mean, um, I will be going over those in a couple of videos, but right now I figured I just wanted to bring um, bring this video up in my series since we just covered the classes. So here we have um, our header files. Um, naturally, our class, our card class here, it's going to have three public functions. One is the um, the constructor, one to print the card, and then the um, constructor with uh, parameters here. Um, our default constructor basically um, just doesn't do anything but we wanted to include it because we had a constructor with parameters. Um, the constructor with parameters basically takes in the parameters and assigns them to our card variables face and suit and the print function. Um, notice how we're, we're writing our print function here. We're not outputting anything to the console um, in this function, we're just returning the string value face of whatever it is. You know, it's going to be face would be ace through king of suit, which would be heart, club, diamond, or spade. Um, now we can look at our um, deck of cards and um, notice I put the um, the class and, and its implementation in one file as well. Um, the deck of cards here is is going to include the card header file. Um, these these two header files for um, a random number generator and IO manipulation to make the data look pretty when we output it. Um, we have a constant integer, cards per deck is 52. Um, and then the class deck of cards has a, um, a um, constructor. Uh, it's a default constructor, a print deck, which, which will print the entire deck, deal a card, deal one card, and then shuffle. Well, those are basically the operations on a deck um, where it's going to have a private variable. Um, the uh, deck of cards, it's, it's a private variable card and this count contains a pointer to the deck. I haven't gone over pointer, pointers yet either. I will be um, in a few videos. And then we also have um, a current card which basically returns an integer value um, to keep track of um, how many, you know, where the cards are in the deck. So print deck, see out left. This will basically um, print everything to the left, left side input. Um, this is basically going to, this for loop will execute 52 times. Um, where This is kind of hard to read, but keep in mind that I did write this, you know, when I first started to program. Um, set with 19, we're going to have a, a width of 19 um, characters in each output object we're calling deck location i print okay this is the print function of the deck um, or no this is the print function of the card sorry because the the deck is the card variable my bad um, this is going to print four cards per line basically um, and the the um, actual deck of cards here contains an array uh, called we array of string data type called faces and we have ace through king and then we also have an array of suits or called suits of the string data type Oops. Um, hearts diamonds clubs spades we're using the the deck here um, deck variable of of the card class that's in the deck of cards class um, we're using the keyword new to create um, a new a new array called card and then we're going to initialize that to cards per deck which is 52 so we're going to have a new deck and then current card is equal to 0 and count is equal to 0 while count is less than 52 count plus plus this will um, populate the deck in exact order basically the deck at position count will be equal to um, the card and then we have um, faces 
which are our, our, our string of array of faces, the um, modulus of 13, which will give us the remainder of count and 13, and then suits, which will give us the count divided by 13, if that's, if that's making sense to you guys. And then shuffle basically will just shuffle the deck. You know, we'll have a current card. Um, this will shuffle all 52 cards. Um, we're creating an integer called second, the second card, and this will be a random um, modulus cards per deck, um, which is 52. And then we have, it'll give us a number between 0 and 51, but since we're working with an array, our first position is 0, which is what we want. And we're also having a temporary value variable of the card that's going to be assigned um, deck first. Deck first will be deck second, and deck second will be stored back in temp. Okay, and deal card. Basically, if we if we're out of cards, that's what that's what this if loop tests for. Um, if, if current card is greater than cards per deck, we need to shuffle it. And if current card is less than cards per deck, we return the deck and increment the current card. And then it's returning of type card, returning deck um, position zero, which will basically, you know, give the top card of the deck basically. So I know that's kind of a little bit confusing at first, but once you uh, practice it and play around with it, you get the hang of it. And our main program is very simple. We just include the deck of cards header file. We're declaring a new deck of cards data type called deck, and a new card data type called current card. Then we're going to print the deck, and it's going to print the deck in order. Then we're going to shuffle it, give us a couple spaces, and print it again. So we'll have a deck that's printed that's shuffled. Then shuffle it again, give us a couple spaces, and then we're going to deal all 52 cards of the deck. Um, this for loop will iterate 52 times. Current card will be equal to deck.deal card, and we're going to output. Notice this is how we're outputting um, the, um, the card print function. We can directly put that into C out because it returns the string. Um, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, and as you can see, here's our deck in order, ace of hearts, two of hearts, three of hearts, all the way to king of hearts, and then diamonds, all the way to king of diamonds, clubs, so on and so forth. Now, after printing it, we shuffle it and print it again. This is the deck that's shuffled. So here you can see all the cards are kind of jumbled up here. And then, um, after shuffling again, we output each individual card in the deck. And as you can see here, all the cards will be output. And that's basically um, the um, the algorithms behind the um, the deck of cards that you want. Um, that's what you see, you know, when when you play like solitary or um, free cell on Windows. They use the same algorithms. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I don't know if there's a more efficient way to 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 implement that. Um, so uh, let me know what you guys think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you for my next video.